Okay, Kathy, go ahead. You had something great that you were sharing with us here. Well, I was just sharing that this morning while I was doing my Bible study, I was studying Ephesians 3, and I was studying the prayers of Paul. And as I was studying those, it was talking about how the, the love that he has, he wants us to be able to comprehend the length and the width and the breadth and the height of the love that he has that surpasses all knowledge and understanding. And I was doing it through a Bible study as a workbook. And it led me to Psalms 103, and I believe the verses were 103, 13 through 15, and then it skipped over to 17. It was somewhere in there. But anyway, it was talking about that his love, how faithful it was that it reached as high as the heavens, and that the transgressions were removed so far as the east is from the west, and then talked about a compassion that he had that extended to our children, and it extended later to our grandchildren. And as it talked about that, I just stopped what I was doing, and I just started meditating on the love of God and that extended towards us that surpasses our understanding and that when we follow his precepts and we obey his commands and all and we live our life for him I saw myself praying for my children and my grandchildren There's nothing I love more than my children and my grandchildren as I was praying for them I could see that I had seated heaven with the prayers that I had released over these children and grandchildren that were going to extend to them past my life and I could see myself one day in the great cloud of witnesses looking back and seeing the result of prayers that I prayed still moving through those generations. And it made me think about David and how that long after he was gone, there would be certain things that would happen. That they would say, but I did it because of David. They didn't deserve it, but because of David and the life that he lived, he extended favor yeah. towards these descendants of David down through the line and so i just want to encourage us as 50 plusers as we're praying for our children and our grandchildren we are seeding heaven with our prayers and i saw the the tears in heaven and how the, as we are crying out to him for our children and our grandchildren that he releases those at a timely moment when they need it while we're here or after we're gone and they still extend to them changing their lives and how many how much can we change their lives if we just spent time in prayer we have a great commission. Amen. It's time. The Father is calling the 50-plus generation to their posts at this pivotal moment on his clock. Discover and step into your kingdom identity at the 50-plus Joshua and Caleb Generation Gathering, March 12th through 14th at Heritage International Ministries, the home of Morningstar Ministries in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Speakers include Rick Joyner, who will address our prophetic calling in these pivotal times. We are called and will step into the Father's plan for our life. Share and worship with like-minded brothers and sisters. Our past has prepared us for the days ahead, and we are going to fulfill all the Father has planned for us. For more information and to register your spot, go to mstarevents.com 50 plus. Get the early bird special by signing up now.